uh, all we're up to the second quiz out of three quizzes. Uh, this is a quiz for the following section. Strings, vex, move semantics, modules, and enums. Let's build a little machine in the form of a function. As input, we're going to give it a list of strings and commands. These commands determine what action is going to be applied to the string. It can either be uppercase the string, trim the string, append bar to the string for a specified number, amount of times. The exact form of this will be the input is going to be a vector of two length tuples. The first element is the string and the second one is the command. The output of the element is going to be a vector of strings. Okay, so we have three commands, uppercase, trim, or append a number of bar strings. And this is to do complete the function, pub fun transformer, and then we have in tests. And it says in the test, what do we need to import to have transformer in scope? Um, okay, let's first get it to compile. So the input is going to be a vector of two length tuples. First element is the string, and the second one is the command. So it's going to be a vec of two length tuples of a string and a command. That's what that means. The output element is going to be a vector of strings. So we're going to change this to say let mod result equals vec new. And then we're going to do some work here and then return results. Uh, and then here we use, we're going to use super my module uh, transformer. All right, so it compiles, um, but the test fails as we expected. Okay, very good. All right, so we're going to, for each input, we're going to um, transform its corresponding string. Um, and Scoops is suggesting we do iter map, and we can do that. Input. That way we don't need this. Iter map. Um, we can break it down to S and C for string and command, and say match C. Collect. Right? And now we can just fill in the match arms and do it this way. So uppercase um, should be easy, right? If we're going to convert the string to uppercase, it's to uppercase. Right? Trim. Uh, S trim. Was it trim? Yeah, trim the string. Okay. And then append bar any number of times. Let's say B. <laughs> McGaffa says, hell yeah, single character variable names. Yeah, I mean, we, we could change this to command, right? Um, I just can't change this to str. I guess I could just use all lowercase string. And then we call this bar count. It says expected string found stir. Is this returning a stir? It is uh, to the string. Okay, and then bar count. Um, all we need to do is uh, add a number of bars to a string. Ah, what would be a nice way to do that? I guess we can try doing it this way: format bang of string of this, and then. Maybe this is a little silly. Uh, zero dot dot bar count. Not map. Nothing to bar. Collect string. <laughs> is that a silly way to do it? It passes. It might be a little a little too silly to do it that way, um, but it works. 
I don't know how the uh, the collect code does that. Maybe it, it's very efficient and how it does that. I don't know. All right, so I think we passed quiz number two. Let's go to the next one, options one. This function returns how much ice cream there is left in the fridge. If it's before 2200, then five scoops are left. At 2200, someone eats it all, so no ice cream is left. Return none if hour of day is higher than 23. Okay, so I think all we're looking for here is if hour of day, it says it's higher than 23. Return none. Else if at 2200, hour of day is greater than or equal to 22, then we're going to return some zero. There's none left. Else we're going to return some five. Right? There's five scoops left. I think that's all we need to do. And then this says to do fix this test, how do you get the value contained in the option? Um, oh, we can't just do sum, right? Oh, yeah, we can. Oh, I won't let do that. Let's do that. Okay. Um, and then I guess what we can just do is unwrap. Or better yet, expect should have been five scoops left. There. I think that's the best way to do it. All right. That was pretty straightforward, right? We, we just use unwrap uh, to get the value. Um, I think in the future, I'm generally going to use expect uh, just so I can have a little comment in there instead of unwrap. But there you go. Uh, options two. To do, make this an if let statement whose value is sum. Okay. Um, And then down here we have to do make this a while let statement. Remember that vec pop adds another layer of option and you can do nested pattern matching in an if let and while let statement. So I think all I mean by that is it's some sum integer because we're pushing uh, we're pushing options on. So we're gonna pop an option off. And so we have to double deref it. Oh while let. I forgot the let keyword. Yeah, so that's all you have to do there. Okay, very good. That was an easy one. Options two. Let's take a look at options three. To do, fix the compiler error by adding something to this match statement. Um, oh, it's saying, okay, yeah, yeah. We have a partial move because we're, we've... we've taken this um, and this is uh, now a point and now things are partially moved. It's suggesting we could just ref it here. Um, but I think what they were looking for is that, which does exactly the same thing. It turns P into a reference to a point, right? If I put ref here, then P becomes a reference to a point. Or I can put an ampersand here, and p is still a reference to a point. And if I take the ampersand out, then p is the point. Um, and by making this a reference, we don't take ownership of it, which means we can still use it here. <coughs> right. So the error was um, the value was bar is borrowed here after it was partially moved here. And by referencing it, we're no longer borrowing it or moving the value out. So we borrow it here for this, and then we can borrow it again for here. That's all that's talking about. All right, what's next? Errors one. How many are left, by the way? Oh, okay. So maybe this would be, a, there's a lot more. We're only about halfway through. So maybe this is a good time to take a break since I'm running out of time. 
Um, and I'll, <clears throat> excuse me, and I'll finish the rest in the next stream.